Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Britis Empire. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Britis Empire is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of the British Empire. Jo Gwynacre was born in 1965. In the sitcom, she played Linda. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 26 and now she's 58. Me, Linda. No. For the purposes of this rehearsal, I am my brother, the Reverend Horatio Brittus. I thought I'd made that clear. Sorry, I must have missed that bit. I'm Mr. Brittus. From day one, really. So we all loved each other and we just had a ball. We really did. And it wasn't just the cast, it was also the crew and everybody attached to it. We became one. Richard Lumsden was born in 1965 in the sitcom he plays Groom. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 26 and now he's 58. Gala, doing here at 12. What exactly is our situation? Have you finished the service? Oh, yes, they're married, all right. Without a rig. The vicar had to spare one down his trunks, Mr. Brick. What I'm saying is going to sound like a cliche, but this is probably just a stage she's going through. You are unbelievable. Chris Berry was born in 1960 in the sitcom he plays Gordon Breeders. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 31, and now he's 63. Litter? Litter's another matter. I'll be grateful if you pick it up and dispose of it in one of the many bins you have, in fact, erected yourself for that very purpose. <laughs> what? I think he sort of does, he gills the lily, really, because not only do you have Craig, who makes, entertains me so much, but next door you have Len talking to him as well. Craig, I don't know what you've been watching. Pippa Hayward was born in 1961. In the sitcom, she plays Helen Ritters. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 30 years old, and now she's 62. If he wasn't committed, I think he'd read about you in the paper. <laughs> but didn't you tell him it was all a complete misunderstanding? Well, I did try. He just told me I was too naive. <laughs> in a way, um, Dodson's character and Amelia Bullmore's character um, and um, Janet, played by Leslie Sharp, are all representing the women who have... Andre Bernard was born in 1966. In the sitcom, she plays Angie. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 25, and now she's 57. Not now, Angie. Where's he gone now? Oh, God knows. It's just he left this downstairs. Sandra just found it lying out on the table. Oh, thank you. You should tell you. him to be more careful. Piped in laughter and everything being faked. It, you know, you... You could feel it in the same way as if you're doing a theatre show and you can sense the audience. Harriet Thorpe was born in 1957. In the sitcom, she plays Carol. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 34 and now she's 66. I've been dreaming I was a tiger trying to save the tropical rainforests. And I suddenly woke up and gave this incredible roar. That amazing characters with an American accent. Jodie Comer in Killing Eve does a hundred different accents. Does that say we can't do that? At drama school, I... Leslie Schofield was born in 1938. In the sitcom, he plays Mr. Donaldson. In 1994, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56 and now he's 85. Here without a hat, Colleen. You're right, Mr. Britness. I'm sorry. Are you going to be very much longer? Mr. Donaldson. I've got eight men waiting out there to come in and start work. Mine was one of the good guys. Clint Eastwood. In a beard. But fatter. Michael Burns was born in 1947. In the sitcom, he plays Colin. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 44. And now he's 76. And recorded as evidence on this machine. I see. Get that, will you, Colin? Right. <clears throat> Hello? She's going into the ladies. Derek Benfield was born in 1926 in the sitcom he plays Mr. Franklin. In 1992, when he was in the sitcom, he was 66, and sadly he passed away on March 10, 2009, at the age of 82. <laughs> we have a problem, do we? Ah, no, it's all right, thanks. Yeah. I got a puncture just outside your entrance. Let's get in the spare and then I'll be on my way. And uh, we're planning. 
Stephen Churchett was born in 1947. In the sitcom, he plays counselor Jack Draggett. In 1994, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 years old, and sadly he passed away on January 11, 2022, at 74. Gordon, I wonder if I could ask you why you've cancelled the army? The army? 600 men from the parachute regiment wanting to pay to use this... Joe Kendall was born in 1940. In the sitcom, she plays Mrs. Dapping. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 51, and sadly she passed away on January 29, 2022, at 81. Three of them, yes. <laughs> now, you apparently want one built from a storeroom on the third floor. Louisa Bradshaw White was born in 1974. In the sitcom, she plays Angie. In 1997, when she was in the sitcom, she was 23, and now she's 49. I just went, I'm going now. <laughs> My stuff went and I just knew that that was going to be our way, and it just kept, kept on going from there. When we reflect on the incredible journey of Breeders' Empire from 1991 to 1997, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.